news in our audience today from Atascacita Middle School. So if the journalism thing doesn't work out, you have something to fall back on. What do you want to do? I want to be a lawyer. Okay. Uh-huh. And a doctor. Okay, good, good. You'll be a TV doctor and you can do my contracts. Okay, good. All right, well, on any given night, roughly 5,400 people in Harris and Fort Bend counties are sleeping on the streets. They aren't just numbers. They are veterans, families, and people escaping domestic violence. And thanks to a group of medical students, you can help homeless women by simply donating something you no longer use, an old cell phone. On this day, which is recognized as Giving Tuesday, it's a national day of giving back, Great Day's Courtney Perna has more on this project. Project. Hi, Courtney. Hey, Deborah, it's a really cool project. I'm also, of course, learning so much about it this morning. It started with the Albert Schweitzer Fellowship, and with one of the fellows now, Diana. Diana, what exactly is the fellowship? Yep. So, Albert Schweitzer was a physician um, from Germany, actually, from a number of years ago, and he is known for his legacy to taking care of underserved and vulnerable communities. Mm -hmm. um, his legacy now is a United States based fellowship. There are 12 sites around the country, including one here in Houston. Um, and the fellowship supports grad students in in medical fields, in public health, in social work, um, other fields to carry out um, mentored service projects in um, underserved communities gotcha. that address health disparities. I'm hanging out with three medical students right now. They're all fellows, fellow fellows of the fellowship. We're standing outside of the Beacon in downtown Houston. This is where your cell phone project started. Tell me a little bit more about this. Yep, so we're calling it the Schweitzer Safe, Safer Streets Initiative. Okay. Um, and what it is, is it's a project that developed out of a lot of conversations with homeless women here based at the Beacon, which is a day center for the okay. homeless here in Houston. So how did the cell phones, my old cell phone, like this yep. broken one, help out? Yep, of course. Um, so we take um, donated cell phones, tablets, iPhones. Um, they can have cracked screens that can be broken. They get sent to this outside organization called 911 Cell Phone Bank. And then um, what happens? And they send us back a, a new cell phone, um, which Winnie's got one here in her hand. I'm going to... Go ahead, and then she's going to put a sticker on the back. But so these cell phones will only call 911 because that was one of the concerns when you talk to some of the homeless women in the area. Exactly. So a lot of women had experienced assault, had been raped on the street, um, had experienced a lot of dangerous situations when they had been um, out being homeless. Right, and yeah. so they felt like it'd been, it would be useful for them to have access to a phone to call 911 if they were in an unsafe situation on the street. I love that idea. So it goes into these little kits that you have for the women as well. I see a whistle and granola bar. What else is in there? Um, so all of these things in the kit here came out of ideas for speaking with women. Um, like we mentioned, a whistle, which can be another way to call for help very quickly mm -hmm. if you're unsafe. Um, the cell phone, granola bar, which is sort of a nice added perk. Um, we also have um, a list of women's air, um, only shelters or services that serve women specifically. Also a schedule for project access, which is a, a free transportation system here in Houston that a lot of women use. All right, well, there you go, Deborah. And I just got to show you that uh, look at my cell phone. It's in pretty bad shape. So if KHOU wants to give me a new one, that'd be great. And I can just donate this one and help homeless <laughs> women in Houston. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. We'll go check on that for you, Courtney. <laughs> what do you, why does she keep doing that to her phones? All right, well, if you'd like to help homeless women by donating your old cell phone, we have a link on GreatDayHouston.com. Well, now that you know how to donate your old phone to a great new cause, you might need a new one, like Courtney does. When we come back, our resident tech expert shows us the best new phones and digital tech to tote this holiday season. Season. Woo!